Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create soaps using this package from Zenzme. I've never made soap before. I'm really excited to try this out, so let's get started. All right, so let's see what's in this kit. Wow, it smells really good already. So it comes obviously with dire the directions and it comes with some soap bars that you can put this around. And it looks like you get four colors to make your soaps, which is really cool. And then I was reading up on it and it gives you some flowers you can put into your soaps as well. And then here's the molds that I'll be working with. That's really beautiful. So the bottom of your soap will have this beautiful texture on it. And then in here, they have 100% therapeutic essential oils. And they smell amazing. So they give you six different kinds of oils for you to use. And then it also comes with shea butter. Shea butter is really, really good for your skin, so I'm really excited to try this out. So I'm gonna get all set up and get ready to go. So here's the cherry color, the red color. And they have this pretty green color, pretty orange or yellow color. Then they have this pretty blue as well. So what it tells you to do is all you're going to need is a bowl, a spoon to mix it with, and then a sharp knife to cut your shea butter up. So it tells me in the directions to cut this shea butter into quarters. It says it doesn't have to be equal, but you do it as close as you can. So I'm going to do four cuts. So each one of these blocks that I cut up are going to make uh, two soap bars each. So now it tells me to cut this into one inch blocks. And then I have to microwave this for an amount of time until it all melts. So now it's done. It says do it in 20 second intervals. So you're not going to burn anything. So I did it for 20 seconds. We'll see what it looks like. So you just want to stir it up a little bit until it is all completely melted, which might take a few times, but you wanna do it at 20 second intervals. All right, so this should be done. We're gonna see what it looks like. Oh yeah, nice and smooth now. So now it tells me that I need to add the oils that I wanna put in, but no more than 10 drops of the oils. So we're gonna see what they have really quick. So they have geranium, lavender, frankincense, lang lang, Tea tree and jasmine. Well, I can tell you already my favorite is lavender, so I'm gonna go for lavender right away. So it tells me to drop a couple in here. And these are 100% um, essential oils, so it's gonna be really, really well for your, really, really good for your skin. Oh wow, I wish you guys could smell that. That is amazing. So before this cools down, I'm just gonna put 10 drops in here and it's going to do two soaps. Okay, did roughly 10. Now we're just gonna stir it. It smells absolutely amazing. All right, then it says to add the color dyes. So since I put, let's see, purple in here, I'm gonna use this blue color. And we're gonna see what this looks like. I'm gonna start with maybe two drops and we'll see what that looks like. Oh wow, that is pretty. I could do a purple. What is what is purple? Blue and red, I think. But we're gonna keep it this blue. This looks really, really pretty. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this in two of my molds. Like I said, the bottom looks absolutely beautiful. And it says not to bump your uh, molds. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And I'm gonna work on the next one. So it says you can add the flowers. I'm gonna leave this one as it is and go with the next one. I should have because I see lavender in here, which would be kind of neat at the top. But I'm just my first time doing this. It does go really quick. So the next one, I'm going to put some flowers into it. But I'm just gonna set up the next one and just do the same thing I did. Cut these up in little chunks and uh, melt it and then uh, put my essential oils in and then the color. All right, so I'm gonna start my next batch really quick. All I'm doing is just cutting these up into the smaller pieces. I was debating whether or not to clean this out or to leave it is. I'm gonna leave it the way it is because I think that color would be really pretty in there. So I'm just gonna cut up the rest of these and then warm it up and do the process all over again. But I'm really excited. This is turning out really awesome. The house smells absolutely amazing and this is gonna be a great gift. So I'm gonna finish this up and then I'm gonna show you guys the next one. 
So I'm new at making soap, but this was such an easy process and the company gives you everything that you need to use. So that makes it so much easier. Um, one thing I did learn, I guess, is uh, you have to work quickly when you're doing soap. Uh, I did see a couple of chunks in here, but this is just for me. It's not, I'm not selling it. I'm not giving it away. Well, I might give it away as gifts, but you just got to make sure that you work rather quickly and stir it really well. Um, but I love how it turned out. The house smells absolutely amazing um, I, I kind of chose a different color for this I was kind of going for a different color and I didn't wash my bowl out so I had a little bit of blue in there yet as well and this is more of a yellowish color but when you're doing this you want to work rather quickly so you don't get the chunks in it like I did but like I said this, I'm just starting out this is my first time ever making soap but I really do love how this turned out I think all this this whole kit is just a really amazing kit and it comes with everything you could possibly need so for the second part here of the soaps I'm actually using some of their uh, dried flowers and those smell absolutely amazing as well um, to be honest with you I really wish I didn't use them um, I don't know if I was using it correctly or not they didn't really set in too well and you know when I'm using soap I wouldn't really want something hard and abrasive on it like that with this kind of soap so um, I guess it's your kind of preference what you want to do but I wish I didn't use the dried flowers that came with it maybe on the inside it would be really pretty but from the bottom of the mold it is so gorgeous that when you pull it out it looks so so beautiful so it could definitely do without the dried flowers just my opinion you guys can do whatever you want but I really like that they uh, have that in with the kit as well all right guys so I am pleasantly surprised how this turned out it is cooled down and now is the time for the reveal I'm really excited about this I've seen these silicone things before so I'm really excited so let's see oh I like how it has a side there Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, have it upside down. There we go. That is beautiful. So I had a little extra that I put in here, so it is two-toned, actually, and I love how that turned out. So there's the first one. So we're going to do the second one really quick. Oh, wow. That is really pretty. So there's the bottom. I love it. Look at how beautiful that is. So there was a little bit of flowers on here. It's a little bit of a learning curve for me. They really didn't stick in there too well. Um, but it smells amazing. Wow. So we're going to do the last one. I'm going to show you what it looks like. This one I put a little bit extra flowers on it. And it did stick on here a little bit better. So let's just see the back. Oh my gosh. That is my favorite one. That is beautiful. It smells divine. It smells like lavender. I absolutely love lavender. So this really turned out well. My husband took it and smelled it. You like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Will you use it? Sure. Except for those so, little flowers will scratch me. <laughs> he doesn't like flowers. So I love how these turned out. Oh my gosh, this is amazing how easy this just peels right out of here. It is a little bit of a learning curve for me. I've never made soap before, but I am pleasantly surprised at how well these turned out and and they give you enough supplies too so you can make more so i still have this left i can still make two more bars out of this and then i have actually uh, a bunch of glycerin that i had uh, bought from joanne fabrics quite a few years ago and i never knew what to do with it so now i have you know the silicone mold and essential oils too left over i can make a bunch more of these this mold alone is really awesome plus i have all these beautiful flowers left here and then the colorings look i hardly even used any of the coloring in here so it definitely will go a long long way i highly 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 suggest this brand i'm going to show you again really quick what it looks like it's a soap making kit you can get it from amazon um is awesome i love it i highly recommend it i hope you guys do it if you do get this please show me your finished product i would love to see what it looks like i'm really excited to continue and keep going so happy crafting everyone hope you like this video tutorial